Play you're versus right. too are you, are you expensive. Asking for I can't pull the you want some Iono? It's so expensive. <laughs> what are you fucking for? It's so much money. Come here, come here, come here. It's so much money, man. I can't. I can't. I want that. I want that Iono. Give it to me. You're not getting any, you poor sack of shit. What do you mean? You're not getting any Iono. I don't work. You're not getting any. None ever. How if I don't work? This is my mortgage. You're not What's getting a this. This is mine. What's a mortgage? <laughs> this infomercial was brought to you by If You Don't Own 17 SARI Onos, You're Fucking Poor. Hey, yo, what's good, gamers? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about uh, clay burst made to order boxes coming out of Japan in an, an announcement from the Pokemon Company International regarding making made to order boxes coming out of Japan for clay burst specifically. So, a lot of people are saying that this is going to tank absolutely plummet the price of Claybers boxes, the Iono SAR, the chase card everybody fucking wants. Um, people are saying it's gonna tank the price of that card, and uh, I beg to differ for many reasons. Uh, I see people that know nothing about Japanese product that have barely been in the Japanese market for a year uh, that are talking like they know this shit, like, like they're some kind of expert. Um, and I'm here to tell you as a guy who's been involved in the Japanese market for the better part of four to five years, that that's bullshit. Um, the Japanese market does this fun little thing sometimes when people get mad about product. Take EV Heroes as an example. When EV Heroes wasn't meeting demand in international uh, waters, uh, they basically did a small reprint. <laughs> of the set for all international buyers and that's what they more or less called it but what that reprint was was basically like for like a couple days they just did a very tiny wave of EV heroes and it was mainly available not for the international buyer but the Japanese community the Japanese buyers now it didn't really affect anybody and uh, people thought that was going to drop the price of EV Heroes into the ground. And all it did was like drop it for, I I'd give you uh, the better part of a week. It dropped it like 20 bucks. And then not even like two months later, EV Heroes was double the price it, it initially was. Um, so I, I assume the same shit is more or less going to happen with this made to order. But I'd even say it's worse. It's worse than the EV Heroes save face situation. This is worse because made to order means that when you go to the Pokemon Center, the Japanese Pokemon Center.com, and you want to get a made-to-order clay burst box, right? You must have a few things before you can even do this. First off, you need a proxy. Do you know what a proxy is? That's where you have an address in Japan, a Japanese address, so that a service can use that address to obtain the box from the website, and then it'll get shipped out to you, right? That's kind of cool, right? That's a cool theoretical thing that you could do to get product. However, the Pokemon Center uh, Japan is starting to crock or crack, not croc, not a crocodile. They're starting to crack down on proxy services and making it unavailable. And they're actually blocking out these addresses that are using proxy services. Um, so that's a problem to begin with. So one, as international buyers, we're going to face that issue. I don't even know if that's going to be an, a, a big issue with this made to order thing, but it, it might be. It very well might be. That's just speculation. Beyond that, how many people that actually want Claybers boxes are going to go through the entire process to get a proxy service and get the, and get a Claybers box? Because you need to submit between, I believe it's like a very specific, it's, it's like a five day period um, of time in which you can get these boxes and you get one, you get one Claybers box from this made to order Pokemon Center uh, huge reprint, huge wave of product that is going to upset the the way or the whales in the fucking market. It's it's not gonna do shit, man. Like under the safe assumption, under the real safe assumption that say like twenty thousand boxes get reprinted um, for this made to order thing. Do you know how many of those are gonna be Japanese buyers? I'd say a good seventeen thousand. This is just a rough. This this can go up to now. I I'd say a good eighty five percent of buyers getting these this product from the pokemon center are going to be japanese buyers they're not going to be you or me and who who's the problem right now is it me or you are we the problem with clay burst are we the whales up pricing this card to damn near two thousand dollars on release no it's the japanese market that's doing this it's the japanese resellers they're the ones doing this and they have the first hand in the cookie jar to get this made to order product do you know how many of them could theoretically, right, probably know a way how to get many more boxes through the Pokemon Center for this made to order. You know how many of them probably know how to do that? And what are, what are they going to do once they receive this product? They're going to jack it up to the same price they've been selling it at, um, if not more, 
<laughs> and they're just gonna watch as people still are in a frenzy to buy clay burst because they're like oh there's so much more clay burst but the prices aren't gonna move that much the iono sar is it, currently as of right now this card raw is around uh, a 1200 dollar card right that's still super expensive that's more than the moon Brian, the one everyone loses their shit for in english um a 1200 dollar card is pretty ridiculous I i'm the first to admit it i, I think uh it's that's wild it's fucking wild uh but everybody wants clay burst due to that card but do you honestly and i mean this do you honestly think this card is going to tank because the japanese po pokemon center is doing a made to order uh, reprint, reprint of uh, Clay Burst. No, it's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, you can quote me on this. You can, you can come back to this video in a few months. I I'd say at most you will see a Clay Burst box, maybe drop 10, 15, 20 bucks, maybe for about a week or two. And then it'll go right back up once that whole bullshit ha has gone out the window. Because the reality of the situation is the Iono SAR is still a super expensive card and it is not going down. It, it isn't. The Miriam has the Miriam. Look at her, bro. Look at that bitch. She's she's standing strong where she is, and she's not even like Iono. Iono is like the bitch. That's the bitch. Everybody loves Iono in Japan. Everybody loves Iono in the in the English set because she's expensive, and especially with Paldea Evolved coming out right around the time of this made to order reprint, the English buyers are going to see that the the quality of the Iono card in English doesn't compare to the Japanese one and they're going to want the Japanese one. They're going to want to buy clay burst and guess what's going to be readily available that the Japanese buyers now have due to this made to order uh, whole thing. They're going to have more clay burst and they're going to, they're going to price it the same fucking price they've been. Um, I've seen this shit happen before. The Iono SAR is not going to plummet in price. It's not going to tank. If you've heard that anywhere, please do me a favor before you hear something online, do a little research into it or Trust somebody that's been in the hobby for a fucking minute that can actually tell you what occurs with this shit. Um, I even saw a post by like some pretty sizable YouTubers and content creators that have a voice that are in the Japanese sphere. Um, and you know, they, they have, I, I don't, I can't tell if they're just trying to voice the opinion of a community. Um, I don't like Japanese resellers as much as you guys. I don't like overpaying for product. It is not fun. What I don't like is at the same time is people saying that prices are going to plummet on a box due to a made to order Pokemon Center Japan reprint. That's bullshit. It is so small it is going to be a literal fucking speck of dust on how it affects everything and give it again two months and the boxes will be more if not the same price they, they were right before all this hoopla hit everybody you know what i'm saying it's it's all bullshit man um i've seen how the pokemon center japan and the pokemon company international reacts uh, to the to everybody causing a frenzy regarding reprints of stuff or they need more product or people weren't getting enough due to some reason um and, and they basically just they react as if they're trying to save face. They do something very minimal that really has no effect in the long run. And uh, it's like a slap on the wrist. They're like, everybody like yells at them, like, fix this, fix this. Whales are hoarding me as Ionos and Clay Burst. Oh my God, you need to fix this. And basically all we do to them is this. We do that. And then they're like, oh my God, just, we're sorry. Let's make a little made the order thing. I'm sorry guys. Uh, by the way, it's not, it's not helping anybody in international. Any international buyers, it doesn't help you at all. This only helps the Japanese market and the Japanese buyers in Japan. Uh, by the way, sorry guys, sorry. You also only get one box if if you have a proxy service, uh, if you're international, uh, or if you know a guy, you get one box maybe. <laughs> Anyways, that's my opinion on the take, everybody. I don't know if you agree or disagree. I don't care. Let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I don't know SAR. She she's here to stay, man. She's not going anywhere. Uh, clay burst boxes. I, I would be more. I'd be surprised if they went down twenty bucks. Um, and even if they do, you're gonna see them go right back up. You're gonna see them go right the fuck back up. Um, this isn't a huge wave reprint. It's not like English reprints where it's massive. It's it's very 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 small. It's not even a reprint. It's made to order, man. So like, if, assuming ten thousand people apply to this fucking thing there's 10,000 more boxes in rotation you know how many of those 10,000 boxes are going to contain an iono sar like realistically do you know how many of them are probably going to contain an iono sar 
maybe. Uh, granted, you pull an Iono SAR every 30 to 40 clay burst boxes, because that's usually what it is. About 30 to 40, you'll pull an Iono SAR. Um, you do the math, man. You you do the math on that. It's a very small number of Iono SARs that will go back into rotation. And uh, how many of them are going to get graded? How many of them are just going to be thrown in, in a collection and never fucking even put on the market? It's, it's going to barely affect it. It will tickle the market for the Iono SAR and the clay burst boxes. It's, it's, that's the reality of it, man. And it sucks because I'm with you guys. I, I, I hate that clay burst is super expensive. You know what I mean? It's, it's not fun. Um, but at the same time, right, it's the reality of the situation and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to tickle your nuts and tell you it, everything's going to be okay, guys. Everything's going to be great. A lot of you guys are just getting into Japanese product this year. You, you, you don't know shit. You, you're like a little baby walking onto a fucking playground and you don't know that that slide that you're about to go on is very sticky and you are about to tumble your ass down it you're learning that you're you, i know that I, I i take my time down that thing i wear the right pants so i slide down nicely but you you're gonna fucking blah, 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 blah. that's not me all right i've been in this shit for a little longer than you a little bit that doesn't mean i'm a genius that just means i've seen some things right and i'm, I'm here to tell you those things to help you to prepare you uh mentally or financially in, in some aspects because i don't want you guys going and being like i have this big nest egg ready for a shit ton of Clabers, and then the price doesn't move at all and then and in fact it'll go up and you're, you're just like what happened um anyways y'all thank you for watching today's video have a good one sorry about the lack of uploads been busy getting ready for the little one and uh getting her room already so been pretty busy uh we'll have short content out we'll have more videos out daily thank y'all for being patient and have a good one later later later